Welcome back to day 22 of our Advent video series and our word for today is deceit. Our icebreaker question is, what's the worst lie that you've ever told? <sighs> what a question, eh? I think the worst lie I ever told was when I accidentally broke a door at school when I was about 14. I'd seen a friend of mine open this door on one of the buildings at lunchtime by lifting it off the latch and I thought I knew how to do it. So I got a group of my friends, I said, watch this, watch how cool I am, I know how to do this. And as I pulled and lifted with all my might, to my horror, a huge splinter of wood came out of the top of the door and broke it. I remember feeling awful and I didn't want to own up to it because I'd already been in quite a lot of trouble that term. And I thought if I own up to it, I'm gonna have some serious consequences. Well, I chose to keep quiet about it and not say anything, which I think is as bad as actually telling an outright lie. It's not owning up to the truth and hiding the truth when it's there. Well, I felt awful and really uncomfortable for a couple of days until I took the decision to talk to my parents about it and ask them what I should do and to pray for me. And then I decided that it was the right thing to own up to the door being broken by me and to face the consequences. So I was brave and I did exactly that. And instead of being punished and getting into loads of trouble, the teachers were absolutely happy and thrilled that somebody had come forward and been honest and owned up to it. And so I didn't face the consequences that I thought I was going to. And it was a real lesson to me to always be honest, even when you've done something that you're a bit ashamed or feel awkward about. How about you? What's the worst lie that you've ever told? Then Herod had a private meeting with the wise men from the east. He learned from them the exact time they first saw the star. Then he sent them to Bethlehem. He said, go and look carefully for the child. When you find him, come tell me, then I can go worship him too. Hi everyone, day 22 of Advent already getting whizzing by. Now today we are thinking all about deceit or telling lies and I'm going to make a bold statement. I think that most of us at least once in our life have told a lie. Maybe we think it was a big lie, maybe we think it was a small lie. But I'm going to tell you today that all of our lies, whether big or small, have consequences. I've got a confession to make and it's not one I'm proud of but I have told a lie to my children. I told them that there was no chocolate in the house. Now this might sound like a small lie but like I said before my small lie had big consequences. So I told them there was no chocolate but in fact I had my own secret stash in a tin just for me. I thought, well, chocolate's bad for your teeth, it's not healthy, really I'm doing them a favour. In fact, what I was doing was teaching my children that it's okay to lie. That is not a good thing, is it? Inevitably, they found the wrappers. And then what could I do? Tell them another lie or own up to the truth? Either way, it wasn't good. But not only was I teaching my children that it's okay to lie, the lie that I told was getting in the way of my relationship with God. God hates it when we lie. So what seemed like a small lie about chocolate, in fact, had big consequences. So today we have heard the story of the Magi and King Herod and the lie that he told. So King Herod had asked the Magi to report back to him when they found the new baby king. He told them he wanted to worship and celebrate the new baby Jesus. But in fact, those of us that know the story know that's not true. Herod felt threatened by the new king and he wanted to get rid of him. He had a terrible plan. But thankfully, God knew Herod and God knew the lie. So God warned the Magi. 
And let's think for a minute about what might have happened if the Magi had believed King Herod. They run back to him and said, King, the new baby is in Bethlehem with his mother Mary and his father Joseph. Here he is, go find him. Would Herod have sent his soldiers to kill them all? Maybe, probably. Definitely the story would have been different, wouldn't it? Herod's lies had big consequences. Maybe we think ours aren't quite so big, but they still make a difference. Our lies cause hurt to other people and they get in the way of our relationship with God. But Jesus came into the world for that reason, didn't he? Jesus came because God loves us so much. He wants us to have a relationship with him. He doesn't want the sin of our lies to get in the way. Jesus came so that we could be forgiven. Isn't that amazing? It's really important at this time of year not to just focus on the birth of Jesus, but to think about what he did when he was alive, the type of man that he was and why he came. And he came to save us and restore our relationship with God. So why don't we pray together now and ask God to forgive us for any lies that we've told and to thank him for the gift of Jesus. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you sent Jesus into the world to restore our relationship with you. Thank you that we can be forgiven for everything that we do. And that it's so simple, Lord. All we have to do is ask you. So Lord, I ask now that you would forgive us for any and all of the lies that we have told, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Your challenge today is to find a piece of paper and draw a spider's web. One that looks like this. In the middle, you're going to write down the biggest lie that you've ever told. And on every strand of your spider web, you're going to write down the person that you told that lie to. And think about how each of those people would feel if they knew you told them that lie. How do you feel about telling that lie? Chat to God about it and ask Him to forgive you for the lies that you've told.